Top 10 Detective Series You Must Have Seen In Your Life Police series are a kind appreciated by the general public. Haloing, full of suspense, sometimes even violent, the police series focus on the investigation. But also on puzzles, ins and outs, the perpetual hunt for a suspect, or the understanding and psychology of the criminal. Here are 10 police series to see at least once in his life. Number 10, The Wire. Broadcast between 2002 and 2008, The Wire has become a cult work over the years. Indeed, this HBO series is a small audiovisual pearl. Be careful, it will not be so easy to grasp. In this sense, we are talking about the complexity of the series, with a fairly large number of very well-detailed characters and a fairly dense narration. The story might seem quite simple, since it is simply a group of police officers trying to dismantle a drug network in Baltimore. However, nothing is anecdotal in The Wire and every detail, even a tiny one, matters. Number 9, The Sinner. The Sinner is a series of anthology that explores the reasons why normal people are forced to commit the irreparable. The Sinner currently has three seasons. However, during each of these seasons, we follow the same inspector, Harry Ambrose. In the first season, Ambrose investigates the act of extreme violence committed by a young mother. In the second season, there is talk of a murder by an 11-year-old boy. Then, in the third and current last season, Harry Ambrose found himself immersed in the most disturbing affair of his career. One of the shots of the police series, The Sinner explores in depth the origin of the evil. Number 8, Broadchurch. Americans are not alone in making quality police series. Here's a good example with Broadchurch. Doctor Who fans will, of course, recognize David Tennant and those of The Crown, Olivia Colman. But it's not the cast of Broadchurch that makes it a good series. Again, the synopsis of the series is simple, a little boy is dead, and the police are investigating. An English series, therefore a British atmosphere, but which intensifies as and when. The main characters are misinterpreted, and the suspicious appearance of the city accentuates the plot and suspense. Number 7, The Night Of. The Night Of is a miniseries proposed by HBO, which relates the trial of Nasir Khan. The latter is accused of the murder of Andrea, a young woman met during an evening. Everything shows that Nasir is guilty of this murder. Indeed, the evidence accumulates against the young man. However, the latter hauls his innocence and will be defended by a lawyer with a dark and melancholy character. Some will no doubt have recognized the pitch of the British series Criminal Justice, since the night of is the American adaptation. This series portrays the caustic nature of the American justice system and the latent racism of society. Number 6, Twin Peaks. The peculiarity of Twin Peaks is that the series was made in two stages. Indeed, the first two seasons date from the 90s, while the last one was broadcast in 2017. Thus, the first two seasons tell the investigation into the murder of Laura Palmer, a young woman found on the shores of a lake. Agent Dale Cooper is therefore sent to conduct the investigation. She was quickly greeted by viewers as a small television revolution. Constantly oscillating between the ridiculous soap and the genius of police investigation, the last season is of the same ilk and takes place 25 years after the first events. This series is also signed by David Lynch. Number 5, Luther. Be careful, this series takes up all the big shots of the police series, and it is not to everyone's liking. However, Luther's main character, John Luther, has an interesting psychological depth. Indeed, Luther is an excellent policeman, if not the best of his brigade. But his emotional past and his professional difficulties do not make his life easy, especially when he does not respect the rules. In truth, he almost never respects them. Number 4, Fargo. There is no doubt, fans of the Coen Brothers film enjoyed this series. Directed by Noah Hawley, Fargo is a series of anthology in four seasons, each of which tells a different story. So there will be something for all tastes. In addition, everything is there to make an excellent TV show. The writing of the different scenarios is magnificent, the characters extremely well embodied, 
especially Billy Bob Thornton, the dialogues are sublime, etc. In short, it is imperative to see Fargo at least once. Number 3, Sherlock. What if Sherlock had lived in the 21st century? In 2010, two series attempted the experiment, Elementary and Sherlock. In this sense, they both succeeded in transposing the adventures of Sherlock and Watson in our time. But if one stays in the hearts of the fans, it's Sherlock. However, the police intrigue and investigations are not the main part of the series. Indeed, what makes Sherlock beautiful is the depth of the characters. Very close to those created by Conan Doyle, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Martin Freeman deliver two great and character characters to us. Number 2, Mindhunter. Critics praise Mindhunter, and it's not for nothing. Indeed, this series tells of the beginnings of profiling in the USA. The investigation is here, and above all, a background investigation into the origin of the disease. How are human beings capable of committing a series of murders? Why are they doing it? Are there warning signs? Mindhunter answers all of these questions. We savor the progress of the protagonist's research, but also a more true than natural Ed Kemper, interpreted by Cameron Britton. Number 1, True Detective. Three seasons, three different surveys, and above all a series that has become legendary. True Detective is the kind of series you have to see once in your life, and what's good is that you don't have to start with the first season. Everything is perfect in True Detective, the plot, the characters, the narration, the stories, and even a magnificent sequence shot. In short, it is undoubtedly one of the best police series of the last decade. And we appreciate the philosophical pessimism of the series.